Hey ho friends! This video has been in the makings for a bit, but um, 25 days of nail miss got a little bit in the way. So here we go and it's going to be kind of a longer one, but hopefully full of all the information you've ever wanted to get about hand slash nail care, okay? So first of all, for starters, ring removal and sadly my little bracelet's got to come off so there we go okay now for ages what i have done let me get out my hobie there's my hobie this is my little bottle of hobie i'm sure tons of you have this very same bottle because i have given out tons and tons of them so we're gonna do jojoba to our first knuckle because that's where your nail starts growing out is down here so let's imagine as painful as it seems imagine that we have got our hand in a door a drawer something along those lines that dip that you made in your nail back here will eventually grow out and show out here okay and jojoba is not just for this right it's for your everything. Okay, while I'm doing this, watch me do this. <laughs> while you watch me do this, let me say this. I'm not a color street stylist. Hi, my name is Stacy. I am a color street addict. I've been using color street for a little over four years. I stinking adore it. The only thing I hate is that I didn't discover it. <laughs> Um, back when I could have got some of those unicorn sets <laughs> at cost. <laughs> okay, so now I have done down to my knuckle. I've done my whole nail. I've done under my nail because you want to get it everywhere. Now while I'm doing this hand, the reason I point out that I'm not a stylist is because I'm going to tell you this. Jojoba has the smallest molecule and is the best thing to use for your hand care, period. Not their oil that they put out. Not the best thing. Jojoba is hands down the best. You can do all the research on it yourself. And you will find that everyone says jojoba. And the reason they say it is because it's the smallest molecule. Which means it's actually absorbing in. So your nails are basically like a little um, brick wall built out of sponges, basically, is a good example how to say it. Like, if you think, if you took a bunch of little, um, those brick-shaped scrubby sponges and stacked them all up, that's what your nails are, okay? So when you take a bath, a shower, do dishes, get to clean in, whatever you're doing, um, you're your little bricks are filling up with whatever, be it water, cleaning products, whatever it is that you're getting on your hands, your nails are going to fill up with that. So even if, because I'm not one to wear gloves, you guys. So even if you're like me, not one to wear gloves, before you do the dishes, before you take a shower, before you take a bath, whatever it is, if you throw some jojoba on, all your little sponges are going to soak that up and protect your nails from absorbing a bunch of water and then drying out and getting like, you know, hard and crusty like they would, right? Because instead they've absorbed all this teeniest molecule in all the land. Look at this. I've got a really low break Ugh, and I'm trying to ride it out. Anyway, so this is what I used to do. I would load up my whole everything with jojoba if I had nails on that had set for at least eight hours, okay? I can't stress that enough. If you did your nails at, you know, right now for me, it's one in the morning. So if I had just done my nails at 10 p.m., I am not going to do this. If you've just done your nails in the last eight hours, 
don't do this because the oils and such are going to seep under your nails and you're going to have all kinds of lifts and problems, all right? So unless your nails have set for eight hours, do not do it, all right, you guys? Don't do it. Feel free to finish watching the video. And if you're feeling frisky, you could even subscribe because I'm really trying hard to hit a thousand, you guys. Dang it. Hit a thousand, hit a thousand. Okay, so now I would take a lotion. I love this lotion. Willow got it for me in my stocking. It smells delightful. It's honey and oatmeal. Um, and then my other favorite one that I use, and I use this one endlessly, is the... I don't know how to pronounce it. Taraco Sicilian Blood Oranges. But look, it's almost out. So, you know. Okay, so this one. Pop it open. Get some lotion out. And I would do this, right? And this is good. I'm not complaining about this. This is good. And then, go to bed or go about your day, right? And part of the reason why I would put the lotion on um, right after the oil is just to help not have any oily bits. But jojoba really absorbs well and you won't feel greasy. So there we go. We're beautiful. But we want to be more beautiful. Oh, I should have showed you guys the insides of my hands before I did that. Son of a biscuit. Okay, so I have psoriasis, which if you are have been here a while, you know this already, okay? And the insides of my hands, even now you can see, they're pretty crappy. But when I can consistently slug, they're not pretty crappy. They've gotten so much better. So now, this was what I would do, right? Lotion and jojoba, go to bed. Life was good, but life was not great. So then... Um, Celeste, one of the gals in the Sassy Crew, told me about hand slugging. I did the deep dive on it, and here I am to share it with you. Okay, so that first bit we did was to show you what I've done for ages. Now I'm going to show you what I like to do, but during 25 days of nail mist is almost impossible. Because I'm constantly putting on new nails, taking them off, putting them on, cutting them off. Okay, so here we go. Let's talk about what we do now. So, at least once a week, start with a salt scrub. This, for me, I love Dr. Teal's stuff. You get it at Walmart and Target. About five bucks for this jar, which is 16 ounces. This is a pink Himalayan salt scrub. The reason I picked it is Bergmont and Sweet Orange. Are you guys seeing a pattern here? Gourds, I love the... Oh, God, now my hands are going to be slippery and open anything. I love the orangey. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Okay, so do this in the shower is my opinion. Because then you do your whole arms, you know, do your legs, whatever you want to do. Dr. Teal's, I don't know about every kind of, like, scrub. But I mainly stick with Dr. Teal's. I also love their eucalyptus one. They have coconut one and orange one. They have a zillion flavors, or smells <laughs> or flavors if you choose to eat them you guys but um this is also jojoba oil surprise okay and then theirs are made with epsom salt and we go in there give it a little mix because you don't just want to get a handful of oil you like a you know that oh god I put all these napkins down so I didn't make a mess and I just threw a blob on my pajama top. Okay, now in the shower when I'm doing this, I'm going to go up my whole arm, you guys. But for you guys here, I'm sticking to wrists and down. Oh God, it feels so good. If you have psoriasis, you will understand the joy in itching your hands with salt scrub <laughs> is like the best feeling get your palms really good get your tops really good get it all oh my gosh smells so good so good and feels so good okay so you want to do that I say at least once a week once a week is plenty 
Um, and that jar of that for like five bucks, right, is going to last you ages. Okay. So then, let me wipe some of my selfies off. And now when you're in the shower, you guys, I'm going to move this also. When you're in the shower, um, you know, let's say you, you hop in, got all wetted up, and then um, took out your scrub, did your arms, your legs, wherever you choose to scrub. Don't forget your decolletage, because that loves a good scrub too. Now, I have a little baggie over here that just has little um, wet wipes in it. I'm going to take those out so I can get rid of some of this salt without having to, like, go wash my hands off while we're chattering. Um, in the shower, you know, you'll rinse all this salt off so you're not going to have to, like, worry about wipes and stuff or... If you weren't recording it, you could just go wash your hands, you know? But I mean, it's just salt. It's not anything crazy. It's just, just salt. And you can also do sugar scrub. Okay, so now you're going to say to me, Stacy, I don't have Walmart and Target. Well, I can't imagine anybody's going to say that to me. Because at the very least, you have Amazon access. <laughs> um, I don't have any. I don't have any store. And I don't have Amazon. How am I ever going to scrub my hands? And I'm going to say to you, it's okay. Because at your house, at the very least, you have sugar. And you can do sugar scrubs or salt scrubs. Either one. You just want to be sure you're doing a scrub, you guys. Now, I wouldn't... I would personally say... I wouldn't do one of the ones that are like crunched up walnuts and stuff like that because I feel like um, those aren't going to wear down. Where the salt and sugar are actually kind of do dissolve down so I don't feel like they're that rough on your hands. And something that's like, you know, crunched up lava stone or walnuts or whatever, I, I kind of feel like that's going to be something that, you know, might be a little rougher on your hands and such than you want to be okay so um if you decide that you don't want to get a little yummy smelling jar of something to make yourself feel luxurious because you guys know I'm a super fan of all things spa right um then just take yourself about probably two tablespoons of sugar or salt if you want to do salt. Honestly, doesn't matter as far as I know. I have equal amounts of salt scrubs and sugar scrubs. So take yourself about um, a couple tablespoons of either one, salt or sugar. And then uh, just pour a little bit of your jojoba oil on. And then do yourself up a good scrub. And it'll have the very same effect. It just won't have the same big smells. So... There we go. We got that part done. Hang on, let me get this off my nightgown so I'm not resalting myself like crazy. And I still have salt under my nails, but I'll live for this purpose. Okay. Alright, so here we are. We're super exfoliated, although now I have napkins on me. There. Super exfoliated. My hands always need it. Now, two things I use. This ancient Greek remedy is new to me. I put it on my um, Christmas list. And my psoriasis has been really bad right now because I'm close to getting my shot. So everything's really firing up. And Dathan had got it for me for Christmas and he gave it to me early because everything's shit right now. So this is Face, Skin, Hair, and Nails. And it has in it uh, ex organic, cold-pressed, extra virgin olive oil, sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, um, lavender oil, and vitamin E. So now, when I'm slugging, this is what I've been doing. 
I'll hobo the heck out of my nails again. And you guys, I'm linking you one. I'm, I'm going to have the links for everything below. The one I'm linking has a little pumper bottle. Now, if I were you and you plan on slugging, I wouldn't worry about, you know, putting it in a smaller container. Girl, I would just put a little pump in my hand and go to town. Like, get it all up in all of your business. Okay. Now, before I got my ancient Greek remedy, you guys, I did my entire ho ho be hands. And I will show you how I would do it. Because this is like, you know, the world's longest process if I'm doing everything one little dippy dip at a time. And I also have bunny hairs everywhere. Okay, so before I got this ancient Greek, and girl, I don't think you need the ancient, ancient Greek, but if you just want to go one step further and add some more to the mix, then go crazy. But I would just pour the jojoba into my hands and do my whole, you know, my whole nail area, hand area, top, bottom, and then like to my wrist bone. But now I add this bit shaky shaky and then like this and that's my that's more for my psoriasis side of life and so now I'm ho ho bud and still have a few bits of salt on my hands that's okay <laughs> at home you're gonna rinse that off you're not just gonna half ass it like I did for you guys okay there we go. Now we've got all these oils, right? Okay. Now, the key part for the slugging is that you want a petrolatum as your top layer. So you want either aquaphor or Vaseline. I did the Vaseline um, cocoa butter because it smells great. And then I use an orange stick to dip in here. And then I keep that orange stick off to the side of my orange stick supply. But the petrolatum is um, too big of a molecule for your hand to absorb. For your skin to absorb. Let me say that. Not just your hand, your skin, okay? So it's too big for it to absorb. So basically, you've just locked all that jojoba and my ancient Greek Greek goodness in your hands. Then, for me, these little pink gloves, my hands are all greased up. These little gray bits mean they work on technology. So they work on touch screen, which was key for me. Because girl, I ain't gonna wanna get all greased up, go to bed, and not be able to watch some YouTube at the end of the day. That's what I wanna be able to do. Also, I got the small medium, and um, I will be ordering some extra small. I think I would like that. I would be happier with that. Okay, and now, then, go to bed. There you go. But you just said to yourself, Stacy, I am not sleeping with gloves on. Well, let me tell you, Stacy's not very good at it either. I um, started slugging before 25 days of nail mist. Noticed a huge difference. Love it. Can't wait to get back to it consistently. But one thing I also noticed is that every night, sleeping Stacy would take the gloves off and she would either throw them by the bed or set them by the bed by us. Then a couple nights in, she got to the point where she'd leave one glove on and one glove was gone. I don't know what she's doing at night that she keeps taking her gloves off. But now two nights she's made it through the night with them on. And your hands will shock you in the morning. I mean, they will shock you in the morning, you guys. Okay, so now, if you're saying, Stacy, I cannot do this. I cannot do it all night. Then I would consider this. And I'm going to give you links for this also. So these are heated hand warmers okay and it's plug-in 
which is always going to give you the best power. Crank your baby up to low, medium, high. Put your hand in with your glove on, girl. Don't be putting your greased up hands into these. With your glove on and set for 30 minutes and watch my latest YouTube video. You know, watch a show. Do some Netflix. Do whatever you do. You could do this at night for 30 minutes and you'll notice a huge difference, okay? Do it for an hour. You'll notice a huge difference. Do it at night and then it's just done without thought. So whatever bit of it you can handle, then you do that, okay? <sighs> All right. There we go. Now, if you're going... But Stacy, what if I just, hang on, I don't want that to fall. What if I just did my nails yesterday? How's the jojoba and everything going to get through? It does. I mean, the, your nail is dead, right? Like, it's not breathing, no matter what anyone's told you. Your nail is dead. Um, The same as your hair is, okay? Your nail is growing out from back here. So the more you can get in back here, the better the product is that's growing out here. And whatever you do, let's say um, you start this and two months from now you go, mm, my nails look the same. Well, sure they do. It takes six months for your nails to grow from here to the tip, four to six months, but about six months is average. But you'll notice some, you will notice the difference in your skin. I guarantee it. And again, you guys, I'm not a stylist, but honest to God, this Color Street Remover, when I use this, I do not even get a single dry bit around my fingers. It has been like totally nail changing and skin changing and I'm gonna leave it at that like I know some people don't want to do it they don't want to try it they don't want whatever I understand because believe me I was the first one to say I wanted to try it and say it was crap because it's costly and then it ups your shipping but it has been worth it and I will say though if you are somebody who has switched to it and you agree that it's worth it Leave a comment below so others can see that it's not just me. But again, I'm not a stylist. I don't give two shits if you buy it or not. I'm not making anything off it. Like, Color Street's not sponsor me. In fact, they probably wish I would shut up for a while. Uh, Vaseline, not sponsor me. Jojoba Oil, they don't even know my name. Like, nobody's sponsoring me. This is just me telling you what I have learned over my four years and constant deep dives into things that are hand and nail. So hopefully it'll help you guys. Hopefully it helps you a little bit. That's always my goal, right? So anyway, if you're new here, if you found this helpful, if you like these kind of videos, if you like um, nail content that is using strips, then please subscribe. I appreciate it. Give the video a like. Feel free to ask questions. I'm really good about answering. And there will be loads of links for you down below. Um, again, unless your nails have cured for eight hours, don't do it. Don't do it. It's not worth it, girl. It's not worth it. Give your, give your nails eight hours and then jump into it. Do your salt scrub or sugar scrub once a week. But do your slugging every night if you can get yourself to do it. Also, if anybody's going to ask, feel free. Do your feet. Do your legs. Do anywhere on your whole body. Slug it, girl. Slug it all up. And I know nobody likes the word slugging. But literally, it's, you know, kind of a greasy little slug feeling you got going on now. So, hope it helped. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.